Yep. Yeah. Fog and fog and fog. <laughs> you don't feel cold? <laughs> huh? I don't know why I do that. I take this microphone, I turn it one way, and I turn it another way. There's a buffalo over yonder grazing here by himself. We're over at uh, Custer National, not National Park, State Park. And we're just kind of cruising through. We went over to uh, Mount Rushmore, and it's all fogged in. You can't even see the, the head. So we're going to go back later. Hopefully it burn off. So you decided to come over here for a little while and take a look. We're in Custer uh, State Park. And uh, we're on some country road out here, some gravel road. And we came across this big herd of buffalo laying around out here in the valley. You can see that they go all the way from up there, up the hill, all the way over to here, down into here. Uh, they even go way on over in there. You can see them on this over here. Uh, a lot of calves out there too. You probably can't see them on this camera, but they're underneath the, tr underneath the tree roaming around. And if I uh, look on the other side of the road over here, the herd even spreads over here, up on the hills. Um, Looks like mostly bulls over here. Yeah, I, I think I see a couple calves. So, and I don't know over that hill there might be two or three hundred more. Don't know. But this is probably one of the largest herds that I've seen so far. He's such a pest. They've had a fire out here also. There are a lot of fires out here. I don't believe they're controlled burn-offs either because when I walked through that one a while ago, I didn't see no reason for it. Uh, and here, I don't know. It may have been a controlled burn-off to, uh, to regenerate the grass, but uh, I don't see no reason for that either because driving through here like we have we've seen mile after mile of just nothing but grassland everywhere with nothing on it so no reason for a controlled burn off but they've they've had one you can see fire goes all the way up into there all all down down through here well we're finally leaving i'm going to start heading back east I think Tommy's either going down to Colorado or... Yeah, he said he's heading to Colorado. Huh? He said he's heading to Colorado. Oh, he said he's heading for Colorado. Yeah. Last night it was up in the air, Colorado, Wyoming, he wasn't sure. But uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm glad to get out of here. It's cold, it's been raining for like two days, damp, and... Um, no internet. <laughs> no internet. No phone service at all. We have Verizon. And literally around Mount Rushmore, there is zero phone service. You can't even call anybody. So, um, I almost feel like I was living in a cave somewhere. <laughs> They've got Wi-Fi here at the campground, but it's it's terrible. You can't hook up to it. Nothing ever works. And it's a great campground, but their Wi-Fi is totally terrible. So, anyway, we're out of here. This campground's only like, uh, it's just straight down the road from Mount Rushmore. Six miles. So it's an easy peasy drive to get to Mount Rushmore from here and all the different parks, Custer Park, um, all kinds of stuff here to do. Great campground, I'd stay here. Just know if you come here, there's absolutely no cell service and there is no Wi-Fi that can be had. It shows that there's Wi-Fi, but you can't connect to it. And when we asked the management about it, they just said, eh, that's just kind of the way it is. It's hit and miss. Well, for the two days I've been here, it's been missed. <laughs> so anyway, we're out of here. We're heading back. Hopefully we'll find some sunshine somewhere along the way.